Fala galera! Opa! GG Pro Game de volta aqui com Alan Wake Remaster. O bicho já apareceu aqui, hein? A gente tem que fazer uma travessia até a estação de trem. Descer a montanha aqui e até a estação de trem. Eu sei, galera, que a galera tá ansiosa aí pelo novo Alan Wake que tá vindo aí, né? Mas, enquanto isso, eu tô terminando esse remaster aqui, né? E talvez seja a minha última postagem desse jogo no canal. Vamos ver. Não sei se eu vou comprar de cara o Alan Wake, o novo, mas... Eu não prometo nada. Mas pelo menos eu trouxe umas novidades aí, né? Assassin's Creed, Mirage, Cyberpunk... Já trouxe pro canal, os novos jogos aí. Eu botei GG Power Gamer RJ, esqueci do RJ, vou consertar depois. Então, quem tá ansioso aí pro novo Alan Wake, que tá, está por vir, né? Vamos ver como é que vai ser. Tem tudo para ser sucesso, igual esse aqui. Foi, né? Lembrando que esse aqui é o remaster, né? E foi totalmente remasterizado. Na verdade, eu fiz um, na verdade, eu fiz um caminho de volta aqui para ver igual algumas coisas, né? Mas Ah, essas musiquinhas são assustadoras, hein? Queria ver se eu, eu deixei alguma coisa nessa, nessa torre aqui. Pelo visto, não. Bem, então vamos descer. Vamos descer então e vamos lá para essa tal estação de trem. Na verdade até agora o, o Alan Wake ele tá meio que fugitivo, né? Depois daquela, daquele capítulo que eu postei passado aí, ou fugitivo, né? Ele tá fugindo ainda, né? E acabou parando aqui. Começou os corvos. Puta. Não sei se esses bichos vão atacar de novo. Tem que vigiar, né? Que eles vão vir me atacar de novo, né? Olha lá, vem eles, ó. Vão vir, não? Bem, pelo visto desistiram, né? Eu acho. Seria pilha.
caraca, mano. Tô metendo porrada desses bichos. Porra. Tô levando porrada, hein. Eita! Tô jogando e ouvindo meu amigo no WhatsApp aqui. Caraca, o cara pegou de surpresa. Segue aí, galera. Segue aí.
Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. Something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Hoped I could find a car from there. that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. I hoped I could find a car from there. that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path.
I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left, no guilt either, not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer.
take the facts of our existence for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion, covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are bright in night springs. Tonight's episode, Family Occasion. Journalist Alvin Durlis trip to study the local customs of an insane community in Night Springs. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. It has been less than successful. Until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durlis, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. serious really just do your thing i'll stay out of your way and observe actually i thought you could assist us i'm afraid we are a man short it would provide you with an intimate perspective could i really of course mr Durden. well i guess that's the least i what would i have to do oh here let me show you with a kiss i um I... <laughs> Thank you. 